Good evening, good evening. How y'all doing? How are y'all doing? How was your weekend? What's going on, Mishmi? Good evening. Oh, shoot. I had cut that down. What's going on, Mishmi? How was y'all weekend? Mine was okay. Mine was pretty busy. Um, I had a few events to go to. And so I did that. And yeah, you were the first. <laughs> Misha, you sure were the first one. Hey, Dr. E. What's going on, Lacole? Yeah, this is going to be a good topic tonight. What's up, Mika? It's going to be a real good topic tonight, man. I can't wait. Y'all can hear me pretty good, right? Yeah, I had my mask on, Dr. E. I had my mask on. I had my mask on, so I, I should be good. I just can't stay in the house like this. This this staying in the house is like it, it ain't to be quite honest, it ain't good for my mental. I think I'm gonna need okay, cool, uh Mika. I think I'm gonna need some counseling, man, after after being in the house all year for the most part. Like I might have to call my god sister to give me some mental health therapy or something, cause this is really um this year had really been wearing on my mind. You guys go ahead and share. Go ahead and share. We're gonna start in just a minute. Hey Channing, how you doing? Um, we're gonna start in just a few. You guys please share, share, share. Like I tell you, every week it does not cost a dime to share. It's free. A lot of people are, especially healthcare providers. This has taken a toll on everyone. Absolutely. Um, it really, it really has. Okay, Dr. E. Cool. All of your therapeutic. <laughs> You're so silly, Channing. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. But you guys, please share for me. We got a real good topic tonight. We're going to start in just a few minutes. I just want to build an audience up a little bit and um, get things going. Um, of course, I got to mention the event that I'm going to be having on the 18th of this month. We are um, about right at two weeks away. Um, it's going to be on December 18th, and it's called What's Love Date Nights. And basically, date, the word date is going to be used in two different ways. If you are dating someone, you're in a relationship, you can bring that person and come out and enjoy um, the night. And then also you can, we're using date as another form as if you are single and you are looking to possibly meet someone, um, there will be single guys and single women there. Uh, that are open to dating, that will be looking uh, to date. So if you find see somebody and you find them attractive, you know, you can come up to them or the guys can come up to the ladies and and maybe you guys can spark something. You might meet your husband, you might meet your wife. So come out. We're going to have Think All Be All Band as our house band. We're going to have Sunita Olds as uh, she's going to do poetry and we're also going to have Lyric Sense that's going to do, it's going to be erotic poetry. This is a night for grown and sexy um so everything is gonna have like a a sexy or erotic spin on it and then uh we also gonna have vendors there as well um that is basically gonna fall in line with that same with that same um experience that i'm trying to create so please come out on the 18th i really really would appreciate it uh if you guys could come out misha and isha uh, y'all working that weekend, or do y'all got drill that weekend? Let me know. I love for for, for y'all to come. And if you need a place to you need a place to stay, you can stay here with me at my place. 
All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Hey, Jackie, how you doing? And Jackie Rogers, how you doing? Two Jackies. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started tonight because I got a lot of stuff to cover on tonight. And um, so I don't want to waste too much time with the small talk. I want to dive right in. Um, so tonight we're going to be talking about how to heal after a bad relationship. Um, I'm sure we've all had a bad relationship or another. I think I'm off. I'm gonna see if Monica will watch long. Oh, Monica, Monica coming. Monica, she coming. But um, we'll work. We'll, don't worry if you if you can come, come. We'll we'll find somebody for long. Don't worry about that. We'll 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 figure that out because it's several people. So just just come. Um. Anyway, what's going on, Keith and Brene? How y'all doing? Um. So tonight, like I said, we're talking about how to heal after a bad relationship, and I know that we've all been in a bad relationship or two or three or four. <laughs> um. And when I say bad, I'm not necessarily meaning that the relationship necessarily was toxic, toxic or abusive or anything like that. But that person just wasn't good for you. You wasn't compatible, maybe. Maybe they wasn't ready for that level of commitment um, and all that good stuff. And so I wanted to share, you know, basically what I uh, what I did personally to get through um, my divorce. Of course, there's no secret. I was married and uh, and I got divorced at the beginning of this year. And, uh, and it, it really took a toll on me mentally um, and physically in a lot of ways. And so I really had to get my life back, get back to myself. I really had to heal from the relationship because it was a relationship that I kind of put my all into and I did what I thought was everything that I could do to be a great husband. But, you know, sometimes it's just not enough. So uh, some people don't, some people you just can't please in certain ways. So um, I basically went and did some studying and I did some research on um, how to heal because I, I am a uh, relationship type of guy. Um, um, I value relationships. Uh, I'm not afraid of commitment. And I know that I am uh, meant to be a husband. So, you know, I wanted to get myself to a place of healing so that I'll be some value to someone else when that time presented itself. Okay. So um, I'm going to go over some things and we can talk about it anytime you want to chime in. Please feel free to hit the comment uh, button and comment. Uh, please give me your hearts. Please give me your likes. And uh, if you feel like you um, haven't healed from a relationship or you are in the process of healing and don't know exactly where to start, then uh, take notes. Get your, get, your, get your pad out, get your pen, and take notes because I'm going to hit some really, really good points. And this is exactly what I did. This is personally what the, 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 the road that I took to get to a place of healing. And um, actually, is what it is what's birth, what birthed this talk show that I have every week, all right? So... Uh, going through a breakup is always difficult, no matter the circumstances. But going through a breakup after being in an unhealthy relationship can feel even worse. It's important to remember you're not alone and you have support of family and friends to get you through this tough time. Plus, it's necessary to remember that a breakup is temporary. All right, I'm going to read that again. It's necessary to remember that a breakup is temporary. The feeling will not last forever. Here are some quick ways to recover after a breakup. 
All right. That was one of the things that that hit me real, real hard, that the feeling would not last for forever. You know, I know when we get in those situations and we we tend to think that, hey, Q, how you doing? What's up, Kenneth? Hey, Diamond. Thank you guys for watching. Please share. Um, that's one of the things that I did when I when that I knew uh, going out of my last uh, marriage that the feeling one lasts for forever. You know, that feeling of having that queasy feeling in your stomach, you feel uneasy, you don't got no appetite, you know, you don't want to talk to nobody, you want to shelter yourself, you just want to be alone, you don't feel like working. Um, all of that good stuff, you know, goes on when you in the beginning stages of ending a bad relationship. What's up, Travis? Ending a bad relationship. So here is some things that I did, all right? Personally, this is the roadmap that I took. All right, the first thing was, it's okay to be sad. All right, it's okay to be sad. Allow yourself a good cry if you need it or several. Eat that pint of ice cream and watch sad movies. Cry to your family and friends. You might think it's better to hide your feelings and appear strong but it's healthy to release those feelings of pain so you can move on from the relationship. All right. That was very, very, very vital. I'm going to tell you what I did. And I'm, and tonight I feel like I, you know, I, I hadn't really shared a lot of things that I've done. And when my marriage ended uh, in, in any of my episodes, but I feel like tonight I, I really haven't been feeling all that inspirational this week. Well, this weekend and last week, and I was thinking about canceling the show tonight just because I just wasn't feeling inspirational, you know. Um, so being that I, I didn't feel inspirational, I was just like, you know, I'm going to cancel tonight because how can, how can I be, you know, productive to my viewers if, if I don't feel inspirational? But I'll say, you know what? Nope. Not going to do it because that ain't nothing but the devil, you know, trying to creep in. You know, everybody have have those those bad feelings. But um, one of the things that I went through, I, I actually took a leave of absence at work. When 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 I first moved um, into my own place, I took a leave of absence at work and I stayed at work for about 30 days. And um, got some therapy during that time. But most of all, I just released all of my feelings. You know, if I felt like, and, and you know, some men can't admit to it, but I'm a real man and i tell you the truth. If I felt like crying, I just, I cried. If I felt like laying in the bed all day, don't take a shower, whatever, you know, I I did that. If, if I wanted to just sit up and you know, look at TV or, you know, listen to music or whatever, whatever I found at that time that I needed to do, you know, I did it during, during that, during that phase. And I was able to um, get through that pain. That was probably like the hardest part, you know, um, releasing those feelings and really just, Getting rid of getting rid of all that pain, you know. And uh, you know, I thought about, you know, all the things that I'd done that was right. I thought about the things that I'd done that, that was wrong. And I thought about, you know, things that she did, did that was right, things that she did that was wrong. And I just really just soaked during that time, to be quite honest. Um, I did a lot of praying during that time. I did a lot of soul searching. I did a lot of um, thinking about things that I would not accept in a, in the next relationship. So I really took that time to really sit down and think about it. And uh, and I had a lot of doubt, you know, I, you know, I was like, well, maybe I, if I just could have done this better, if I could have just done that better, if I could have been, you know, maybe. Maybe, maybe if I if I had made her feel like this, or if I would have bought her this or did that, then I start realizing, no, 
you you was you was good to and that's the other part to this is don't doubt what you did it's easy to think i've made a terrible mistake about your breakup but you did it for a reason so our breakup came to a head for a reason what's going on tommy tommy hey shay how you doing Trail, Tara. Um, you know, I, I, I just, I started to, to, to second guess myself, and then I, I was like, you know what? I started thinking about the type of husband I was, and the things that I was able to do, and, and how well I was able to take care of my family, and this, that, and third. And I was like, you know what? You know, you did, you did enough. And if that wasn't enough, then it wasn't enough. You know, um, about your breakup, but you did it for a reason. Confront the doubt and realize that the decision you made was the right one because you wanted to be in a healthy relationship. My heart's desire is to be in a healthy relationship. So being that I made the decision to allow her to walk away when I am, I, when I really didn't. But then I had to look at it like, you know what? You really do everything you can to establish the situation. And I could honestly say, yeah. So for that, I had to allow her to walk away. Because I'm going to tell you, I'm a salesman. So I could have talked her into staying. Like, really. Like, I could have put my salesman hat on and talked her into staying. But that's not, I don't want nobody to stay with me because of uh, circumstances or because of uh, what I could do for them or anything. I wanted to be genuine and I wanted to be real, you know? So, um, you know, I just, I just went ahead and bit the bullet and, and, and let the relationship uh, go, you know? Um, so I'm going to take a little, a little second here to mention um, you're watching what's love with Jamar. I'm your host, Jamar. I'm so glad to be here tonight. It, it's been a crazy emotional uh, week, weekend for me, but I'm glad I'm glad to be here. And uh, I want you guys to share this live, please. We're talking about how to heal after a bad relationship. And I'm going over, um, I'm going over some things that I did to heal from, from my past relationship. These are things that I did. These were things that that made me feel, you know, better about myself and able to lift my head up and keep pushing, keep moving. All right. Um, and maybe hopefully this will help you guys because it most definitely helped me. Um, let's see. Ashley said sometimes enough is not enough for some people. Absolutely. And you and you have to you have to know that you, you have to know that. When when you are aware of what you're doing and what you're bringing to the table and it's it's above average. It's above average, then you can put them in a castle on the hill and it ain't going to be enough for them. You know, you can buy them a Rolls Royce every six months. It ain't going to be enough if they don't if they don't want to be there. OK, so the next the next point is stay out of contact, stay out of contact. You might be tempted to call or text them just to check in, resist the temptation and try being alone for a while. It's better to be single rather than to be back in an unhealthy relationship. That is so true. That is so, so true. What's going on, Anthony? That is so true because the fact that the fact that the matter is is that if you continue reaching out to a person and they already told you that they don't want to be with you, why? Now that was something that I didn't have a, I really didn't have a, a struggle with that because I walked away knowing that I did everything that I could do. You know, I offered. You know, I offered. Hey, let's go to counseling. Hey, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's go here. Let's do that. Blah, blah, blah. You know, and it just, it, you know, it just didn't work out. So, um, 
I, w- I was able to walk away knowing that I wasn't contact anymore, you know. Um, I will say I probably contacted a couple times at the at the very beginning, like the first few days or so. But after that, I was like, after I kept getting the same answer that I would get from the beginning, I'm like, bro, you stupid. Stop, stop re-hurting yourself. You just you 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 done fell and, and, and scratched your knee, and then as soon as it get the scab on it. You know how we used to do when we were kids? You you fall and you scrape your knee and then it start getting a scab on. Then what we do? We start picking at the scab and peeling the scab off. And then now you got a, a sore again. It it, it back hurting again. Nah, I, I, I said no. Nah, I'm not gonna keep. I'm not gonna do that. So I did that a couple times. But then I was like, nah, nah. Um, Anthony said my ex still driving around in her convertible. In her convertible, I bought her. <laughs> hey man, you know it be like that, bro. It be I trust me, I know the feeling. It be like that. So stay out of contact. Once they uh my Angelo said, and I say it all the time. When a person show you who they are, believe them. Period. Point blank, period. When I, I've I've done some dating. And in my dating, people say, well, you know, um, I'm like this. I really don't do this. I really don't do that. Okay. I ain't finna try to change. I'm going to believe exactly who you say you are. You know, I don't really want to do this. I really don't want to do that. Okay, cool. Keep it moving. Move on. Go next. Geeky gone, girl. All right. Let's see. Uh. Hey, Tammy, um, that is absolutely true. We need to learn how to be by ourselves and be happy. Absolutely. That I wanted to be single for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I've done some dating, but I wanted this time to just be able to do whatever I want to do. If I want to sleep in to 10, I ain't got no woman over there that love to wake up at 6 in the morning and be like, Get up, come on, let's go here. Let's go there. Let's do this. Let's do that. Or I can I can do things on my terms. You know, I can do things on my terms. Uh Anthony said material stuff, peace of mind is more valuable. Bro, let me tell you. Won't nobody disturb my peace. My block gain so strong, won't nobody disturb my peace. Now that's something else that I learned. It, it, it ain't it, nah. Nah, you ain't you ain't the one. I'm the, I can't no. Bye. Gigi gone go. All right. Uh, let's see. Ashley said, "Thought your though your speech betray you. Believe them. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. So stay out of contact. All right. The next thing is get creative. Get creative." It might seem scary to try something new. This is especially true for people who were just in an unhealthy relationship where their partner might have told them they're not good at anything or laughed at them about something they wanted. Now that your ex isn't around to stop you, try finishing that degree, starting a project, cooking a great meal, learning a musical instrument or a second language or whatever you think will help distract you from the breakup and get out and enjoying life again. So I'm going to tell you something, guys. That's what started this this show. That's what started this show. Um, It kind of taught me some things. And being that we was in a pandemic, I had planned uh, several trips. You know, I was supposed to go down to Orlando to see my cousin Angela, Angela that be on here all the time. I was gonna go to Orlando and stay with her for a week. I was gonna go, um, uh, I was gonna take a trip to uh, the Dominican Republic. I was gonna go on, I had had booked a cruise for uh, March. Uh, but a lot of things had to be canceled. So 
um, I was like, you know what? I've been learning a lot of stuff lately, so I'm just going to start. I should start a show on Facebook and a podcast. And so that's how this show was born, you know, um, because I was trying to get creative, you know, and kind of channel my my time and my emotions to something that was more positive. OK, so that's something that that you guys could do. Um Ashley said, going back to school, that's something that I'm actually going to do, too. I'm going back to school in January. Um, I'm, I'm going I'm to finish up my degree and and move on, you know, to some other to some other things. Um, started, you know, started a business and I had a business that was lying dormant for a couple of years. So I kind of brought it back to life. So, you know, just. Just been doing some things to keep myself busy. You know, to kind of keep your mind going and 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 keep your mind off, you know, the trauma that you experienced. Because really, to be honest, man, when you break up, man, that's traumatizing. That's some real trauma. Hey, Ella, how you doing? Hey, Tiara, how you doing? Block to the one thousand. I know that right. I know that right, Doctor Dr. E. I know that real. Block to the 1,000. Geeky gone, girl. Um, Anthony said, yep, I'm doing online classes now to get these additional engineering certifications. That's my relationship. I know that's right. Fall in love with something else. Fall in love with something else because if you worry about what went wrong in a relationship and what that person did, you think about that all day long, you will drive yourself crazy. You will drive yourself crazy. So you have to know that you can you can just move on. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and and not even not even think twice, you know, just move on. OK, so uh, I got some more points. But before I go to the next point, I want to talk about my What's Love Date Nights event that's happening on December the 18th. You can inbox me if you want a ticket all right if you want to take i'm only selling 50 tickets um i got i've sold about probably about 30 or 35 tickets so um i want you guys to go ahead and get these tickets so that you can come and enjoy we're gonna have a live man um um channing you, you saw channing that was on here she's gonna sing she's gonna be one of the singers she's gonna sit have a set she's gonna sit in with the band and sing and she is a phenomenal singer okay um and then we're gonna have sunita old she's gonna do some erotic poetry we're gonna have lyric sense she's gonna do some erotic poetry as well this is gonna be a night for the grown and sexy okay um the super duper grown and sexy so it's gonna be a really really nice time uh, dress the the attire is grown and sexy. Um, you can inbox me to get your digital ticket. You don't even have to meet up with me. You got to try to figure out what side of town you on and all that. You sent you uh, inbox me and let me know that you want a ticket. I'll send you a digital ticket and then put your name on the guest list. My sister will be at the door checking names, make sure everybody come in and everything like that. We're gonna have a cash bar. All right, so you're gonna have your drinks flowing, you have your music going. We're also gonna have a live DJ as well, um, that's gonna play as well. So it'll be a combination of the band and um, a DJ as well as the poetry. And then you can enjoy your vendors as well. We're gonna have Kimberly with Bedroom Candy. We're gonna have Shalonda with Serenity Jewels. We're gonna have Shalissa with um, Tasia Sweets and Treats. We're going to have uh, LaVita, LaVita Price with LaVita Secret. She sells lingerie. And so it's going to be a really, really, really good time. You can come get your lingerie, get sexy for your man, or get sexy for your, your boo. You might meet somebody there. So you probably can get sexy for, for him um, later on, you know, as y'all get to know each other. Um, so please, please, please come. And then also another thing I want to mention before we go to the next point, we're at the halfway point. Um, before we get to the next point, I was talking last week about doing a, 
a group, a, a, um, a video group chat. It's, it's video based. It, it's going to be through Facebook, the Facebook group uh, platform where we can come on on this group on video and we can all have conversations about certain things. All right. So I, I try to keep this. I try to keep this platform as clean as possible. Um, but this particular group is going to be we can talk about whatever and we can say whatever because it's going to be private. All right. So if you want to be invited to that group, I'm going to do a, a live. I mean, I'm going to do a um, I'm going to do one of the group nights. We'll do it one night this month bef before the Christmas holiday. And I and um, if you want to be a part of it, just comment in the comment section saying I'm in saying I'm in. And then I'll go back through the comments later and I'll create the group and I'll send you the invite. But we'll talk about all types of stuff. You know, it'd be like sex, relationships. Uh, it'll be relationship based, but it'll be a little bit more in detail and kind of like without the without being so clean, so to speak. All right. So type and say I'm in. And if you're in, I will send you a inbox with the group. All right. I'll create the group and it's going to be called uh, What's Love Late Nights. What's Love Late Night. All right. So it's probably going to be like about we'll do it like about nine or ten, something like that on maybe like a Wednesday. Well, maybe like on a Wednesday or Thursday night. And we'll 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 do that. Okay, cool. I see every y'all hit. I'm in. I'm in. Y'all tell me that if you in, if you want to be in. All right. So we we will um and then you know we also can have you know some people on there. You know we'll also have some people on there that probably can come in as guests and you know give us some type of you know other education. You know, maybe some things that I'm not well versed in. So we will, we will, we will do it. Okay. So type I'm in. I, I see your hand, Mika. <laughs> All right. So we got uh I got it. I see everybody. Okay. Uh Shay Shay, Ashley, Misha, Anthony, Isha, Ella, Channing, Mika, Tammy, TC. Tcia, I always get your name wrong. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Tcia, and or it may be just Tisha. Um, Tisha. All right, cool. Anybody else, please, please feel free to hit on me in. All right, hit on me in. All right. So the next, the next point I want to talk about is go back in time. Go back in time. Well, before I go to that, I want to I want to go over all of the points in case somebody missed missed uh, the points. All right. So the first point was it's OK to be sad. All right. Second one, don't doubt what you did. OK. Third, stay out of contact. Do not contact her. Do not contact him. Women. Let me let me let me reiterate on that. Women, because y'all good for it. I don't care if he left his left sock and he took the right one with him and you want to call him and be like, you left your sock over here. Nah, you just want to, you just want to try to circle the block again and try to see what he got going on. You want to get him in the house, him him up, trap him, and then ask him all these questions. Are you sure that's what you want to do? You sure you making your decision? You sure you want to be with her? He made his decision. He gone. Let him go. Let him fly. Don't be calling him. You you left your ratchet set. You left your ratchet set. Your tools. Just gone. Just gone. Just gone. Put them up on the shelf, sir. So. And when you might need it one day, don't even call him. He got everything that he that he wanted to get when he was packing his stuff up. Okay, 
So y'all don't, don't don't be don't don't be doing that now. Women, men will do it, but women real good at it. Y'all know I'm telling you the truth now. I'm gonna tell you what God love. The next the next one after that, what we talked about, guys that just joining in. Um, get creative. Get get creative. All right. Anthony, I ain't even gonna put it out by the mailbox. Cause if I put it out by the mailbox, you may you may come knock up on the door and be like, I just want to come and see if I forgot anything else. Mm -mm. Nope. Keep you gone, girl. Buy it again. You left it. Buy it over. Buy it over again. All right. The next one is go back in time. Remember what you like to do before the relationship. Were you athletic and loved to run or did you enjoy painting and drawing? Get back to your roots and try your hand at some of the hobbies you had that may have stopped because of your ex. So one thing that I learned is that when you totally commit to a person, when you totally commit to a person, what happens is you end up losing a piece of who you are. Okay. You may not lose yourself totally, but you may lose a piece of who you are. And, you know, you may have been a avid runner. I'm just using this for an example. You may have been an avid runner, but your, 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 your mate, your partner may not have been an avid runner. So you may, kind of stop doing that when you get with them because it, it's not like you intentionally did it but you know when you're in a lovey-dovey stage you want to spend all your time if you ain't going to work or taking care of your kids you want to just be with that person be with that person be with that person that's all you want to do that that first phase you know and then that's the phase that i think we start to lose pieces of who we are you know oh i'll go run tomorrow Oh, I'll go run. Oh, well, you know, I already ran two days this week. So I'll just I'll just take off. I'll start back next week. And then and then that person gonna end up calling you. Hey, you wanna go here? You wanna go there? You wanna go here? You wanna go there? Because people can tend to be real uh selfish when they first get into a relationship. They want to spend all the time with you, and you want to spend all the time with them too. So you both are calling each other. Hey, you want to hang out? You want to go do this? You want to go do that? And it's, and if they know that that's the time that they're supposed to go exercise, they will compromise that time and be like, well, I'm going to go ahead and go hang out with her. Or I'm going to go ahead and go hang out with him. You know, and then next thing you know, three months have passed. You ain't been to the gym at all. You ain't touched a treadmill. You ain't been out there at Shakespeare to run the, to run the styles. You ain't done it. But, you, you know, you was real committed to that before you got in a relationship. So when you end, when, when a relationship ends, get back to the things that you loved before you met them. You know, get back to those things. If you like running, start back running. You know, if you if you like if you like going out, start back going out, hanging around your family, hanging around your friends. Because one of my biggest mistakes, and I, I you know, I ain't gonna tell no lie. I got my best friend on here. He can he can vouch for me, Travis. One of my things that I had a habit of doing when I got in a relationship, I ain't care about nobody else. I ain't talk, I ain't hang out with my friends that much. I may would talk to them on the phone. You know, um, I would, I would, if they decided they wanted to come over to the house, then okay, cool, yeah, come on over. You know, me and the wife, we here, no problem, you know. But my my wife's still there, so I'm good. But as far as going out. You know what I'm saying? Taking trips, doing things with, with, with my homies, you know, with my friends. I didn't really do that. And that was something that that was not a good thing for me to do because when my marriage ended, guess who I'm calling? I'm calling my homeboys. I'm calling my sister. You know what I'm saying? To be there for me during that time, you know what I'm saying? And of course, they got 
unconditional love for you. So they going to be there for you, but they going to be like, nigga, nah, don't you, don't, don't you abandon me no more. See, my best friend Travis just said, yes, and you almost got your ass beat over that shit. I did, because me and him got into it real bad about that one time. You know what I'm saying? Me and him got, real, got into it bad about it. You know, and that's just the honest truth. You know, we, we make mistakes and, you know, and things happen. But that's one of the things that I know that I, I won't lose again. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, when my homeboy, they were mad at me, but they still was right there for me during that time. Travis, he was right there for me. You know what I'm saying? Calling me, checking on me, came to visit, make sure I was good. You know what I'm saying? You know, he came all the way from Korea, all the way from South Korea to check on me. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's real love. You know what I'm saying? So you never want to ruin those type of relationships or get out of those, get out of those things. Still hang out with your friends. That you create a balance. There needs to be a balance there. Where you can hang out with your friends and hang out with your wife or your husband. And then there's time where your friends can come over into your environment and hang out with all of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all hang out together. You know. Um, what up, Keith? Man, what's going on, bro? How you feeling? Um, Ella said. I say stay in the things you love, whether you're single or married. For the singles, this way you're going to be true to yourself and they have an option to take you or leave you. Yes. Let, let's let's talk about that. That's another thing that I won't do I, um, now that I learned, Ella, is that I will not compromise who I am as a person just so that I can accommodate who you are. If we different, that's cool. But if we can't cohabitate with you being who you are and I'm being who I am, then get he gone, girl. It ain't gonna work. Period. We 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 got we we got to just let things let things go. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you never want to to compromise. The people who really love you and that's your family that's your friends you know what i'm saying uh anthony said my ex sister told me to be careful because she knew how her has been listen bro you preaching to the choir that's all i'm gonna say you preaching to the choir you know i had an episode a couple months ago and we talked about red flags we have to pay attention to those red flags. And when red flags reveal themselves, when they pop up, you know, I look at a red flag like, um, like, like it's a flag and it's laying down and then it's on some type of sensor. So when that person do a certain thing, that red flag just pop up. You know what I'm saying? And you, and, and you just ignore it. You just, you push it back down. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. When that red flag pop up, you have to address it, analyze it, figure out if it's a deal breaker for you, figure out if it's something that you can deal with or not. And if you can't deal with it, giggy gone, girl. Giggy gone. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That, that that's 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 how that works. All right. Um, another one is spend time with others. That, that's basically what I was just hitting on. Sometimes unhealthy relationships call people to unintentionally sever ties with loved ones. If you haven't spent as much time with your friends as you like, set up a date to hang out. The same goes for your family. Reconnecting with people in your life that you love will, re will remind you that you are not alone and will, and will establish new routines. So here, here, here's my thing. You know, we tend to get in relationships and then we tend to do the same thing again. We have repeat offenses. You get in a relationship, 
when you're single, you are you with your friends, you're hanging out with your homeboys, homegirls, with your family, you're going over to your family house and all that. Then when you get in a relationship, you go back to the old you. You have to stop that cycle. Okay? You have to stop that cycle and realize that you have to have that balance. You have to. All right? That balance is very, very, very important. All right? You know, uh, Dr. E said, take it for what it is. Absolutely. That that balance is very important because that, that woman or that man is liable to leave at any time. Okay, married or not married. Folks getting out of there these days. So being that they liable to leave at any time, you have to hold on to your foundation, your core, which is your friends. They ain't going nowhere if they loyal. Like Travis, he was loyal. You know what I'm saying? Even though me and him got into it about that, about, about that situation, he still was loyal. Now he ain't called me for a couple months. But he, when he called me, he was like, bro, you know, we good, man. I just was mad. We good. And we just kept kept it going. I told him, I said, man, I ain't going to never do that no more. I ain't going to never do that no more. Because it does not matter what your spouse say. I ain't going to never leave you. I'm going to be here for forever. Okay. I'll see you. I'm going to see when forever come. I'm going to see if you still going to be here when forever come. Because, see, people get, get gone at the first sign of trouble in a relationship. They run because it's easy. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's easy. But running, that ain't the solution because you ain't you're going to be running all your life. At some point, you're going to have to face that particular issue. Head on. And if you don't, you're never gonna find true long lasting relationship. It's gonna every everything is gonna be temporary. All right. The next point is focus on the present. It can be very easy to dwell on the past rather than thinking about today and the future. Don't worry about what's going to happen and concentrate on what's happening now. Are you enjoying yourself? What makes you happy? Just because one relationship ends doesn't mean you can never discover a new passion and reclaim your life. You know, we get to the point, hey, Brene, how you doing? Um, hey, Latisse, I want to speak to people. I love speaking to people. Um, how y'all doing? You know, when you get when you end a relationship, we tend to think that that's the end I'll be y'all. Oh, Lord, you put me in a casket. I'm about to die. My life has just come to an end. Everything is, oh, Lord, I can't live no more. You know, we think that it's the end of the world. No. Reclaim your life. Get your life back. What that was to say, get your life. Tamar Braxton. She say, get your life. Get your life. Reclaim your life. Take hold of it. You know, and one thing that we have to do is we have to be strong enough to know what we're worth. You know, you des everybody deserve a good life, whether you in a whether you in a relationship or not, you know, relationship is not the end all be all to life. That's just a portion of it. Now, I will tell you this, and I've said this months ago on one of my episodes. I forget what I was talking about, but one of my episodes, I did a, I did a, I was researching and there is a study that was done by Harvard and it's one of the longest ran studies on humanity and they was trying to figure out what really makes a person happy what makes them feel complete what makes them get up in the morning happy and chipper and every day is a good day and 
they, no worries, no cares in the world. They was just trying to figure out what actually gives that person that, that feeling, okay? And this study actually was ran for, if I can remember, I want to say it was like, oh, they ran this study for over 35 years, okay? It's the longest ran study on humanity. And they came to the conclusion that the thing that a, a, a individual want the most that really makes them feel complete is companionship, you know, a relationship, a, 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 a intimate relationship. That's what people deepest desire is. Um, and I can go into why I think that that's true. You know, one is because uh God made us that way you know to be in relationship with him and he cre and he knew at the very beginning of time that man needed a woman so he created Eve and so I believe you know all of that has something to do with so I believe that that's that's a true that's a true study but at the end of the day it's not end all be all it's not it's just not it's okay to be single it's okay. Oh, Misha, Misha made a good point. Um, it's the most basic necessity for human love. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a great point, Misha. It really is. Um, um, Ashley Edwards said, Dr. E said, it's not good for man to be alone. Facts. Armisha also said many physiological psychosocial theories prove it. Yeah, I could believe that humans and social interaction, whether friendship or relationship, Maslow's hierarchy of need. See, y'all talking that nurse practitioner stuff right now. I, 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 I can follow you. I can follow you. But I don't know what Maslow's hierarchy of need is, but I'm sure that that's a theory that proves what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, Misha, Isha, and Dr. E, y'all talking that nurse practitioner stuff. All three of y'all practitioners, y'all talking that stuff now. Um, learned it in psych nurse practitioner school. Absolutely. So, you know, that's true. So, but what we have to understand is, is that that's not the end all be all, guys. Okay. We can put our time into other relationships, friendships, family, build, you know, maybe you may have a cousin or a sister or a mama or a daddy that you don't have the best relationship with. Work on building that relationship. Oh, another thing, too, that I did during my time of healing um, that a lot of you guys probably don't know. Um, but during this pandemic back in March. Uh, which I told you I, I separated from my ex-wife in January. So back in March, I lost my dad. And uh, I only met my dad once and in my whole life. I only met him once. But the good thing was is that he had kids. He had three kids. And uh, I knew that he had one child, but I never knew about the other two. And so I went to the funeral and uh, I was able to find, hey, Misha, how you doing? It was good seeing you this weekend, too. Um, Tommy said Maslow would say love companionship is a basic need. OK, I'm, I'm going to research that because I've never heard of that theory. I, I want to read up on that. Maslow hierarchy, hierarchy of need. I'm going to read up on that. But anyway. My um, I lost I lost my dad and he had three kids. And so I was able to start building a relationship with them, you know. Um, and so that was one of the things that I also worked on, building a relationship with some individuals that I didn't know. But they was they are my brothers and sister It's two. Uh, I got two brothers that I found out about and one sister. And then I met some of my nieces and my nephews. And then I actually got a nephew that I actually knew, like we knew each other. 
and he's my nephew. I've been seeing the dude around for years. Never knew he was my nephew. Crazy. And so um, I was able to meet them. Um, it's one one brother. He lives up in in Washington. I hadn't had an opportunity to meet him yet because of the pandemic. And he he's in Washington State. But I talked to him on the phone and, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, you can start you can start re building relationships that that may have been torn down or, you know, messed up. So um, do that. Focus on the present. All right. Now, the last one is love yourself. Love yourself. What happened has happened. All right. It's over with. Done. Closed up in the book. All right. You can't go back and stop yourself from dating them, nor can you go back and try to change them. You've broken up and you can move on from this. You are worthy of real love and happiness. All right. You're worthy of real love and happiness. That's why I'm, I'm saying that to the ladies. All right. Because uh, sometimes women, when men leave them or cheat or do them wrong, um, uh, some women, they tend to have thoughts of was I good enough or, or was I worthy? You know, um, you are worthy of real love and happiness okay the more you focus on self-love the easier it will be to find someone who you can love again all right and who will love you in return that's the key now i'm gonna read that again the more you focus on self-love the easier it will be to find someone who you can love again and who will love you in return? All right. We can't. We got us. We can't have these one-sided relationships. All right. We can't have these one-sided relationships. Just because you love a person does not guarantee you love back in return. It does not guarantee that you can love a person dirty draws. OK, that does not guarantee that they will love you back. So you have to um, see if the love is being reciprocated. OK, you have to pay attention to that. All right. OK. And then the other thing is, is that. Let me um, hold on. I lost my point. Okay, nor can you go back and forth and try to change them. You've broken up. So what we have to do is when a person show you who they are, when a person show you who they are, that's who they are. Okay? You can't change them. We try to do a whole bunch of work on changing a person. We can't do that, guys. We can't change a person. Whoever they are at the moment that you meet them. I did a show back sometime called, um, what was it? What, what did I call it? I forget the name of it, but I was talking about how you have to accept the person for where they are. I, I forget the name of it. I almost said it. But you, you have to accept the person where they are right then in their life. You cannot expect them to change. Okay. Condition it was a condition, um, conditional versus unconditional love, I think it was. Where you you can't expect a person to change. You just have to accept them for where they are in their life. No, 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 no. It wasn't um unconditional versus conditional love. It was called uh dating uh is is potential it was it was about potential dating potential can that person what happens if you marry potential and that person never lives up to the potential that you thought that they had okay ego has a lot to do with it. you right um 
Leave them. Leave them right there where they at. There you go. Gigi gone, girl. Gigi gone. Guys, um, this West Love event is going to be on December the 18th. All right? Not this upcoming Friday, but next Friday. All right? I need your faces in the building. All right? Inbox me for your tickets, please. Inbox me for your tickets. This I want this event to be something that is going to be talked about all the way into next year so that I won't have a choice but to do another one. All right? So you guys get your tickets. Tickets are $15 for single, $25 for a couple. I'll tell you what I'll do. All right? If you purchase a ticket tonight, I will make the single tickets $10. And the couples twenty dollars. All right, single tickets ten dollars, and the couples. Now you know what? I'm 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 gonna change that. Single tickets ten dollars, couples fifteen. For tonight only. So when I say couple, it don't have to be a woman or a man. If you want to come with one of your homegirls, then both of y'all can come for fifteen dollars. If you want to come with one of your homeboys, bring one of your partners with you. Then both of y'all can come for $15. All right. Both of y'all can come for $15. All right. So that's $7.50 a piece. You can purchase by just inboxing me, Misha. Inbox me. I'll send you my I'll, I'll you can cash out me. Let me put my cash up up here. Here's my cash out. All right. You can cash out me and then I will send you the digital ticket. I'll send you the digital ticket and add your name to the guest list. All right. That way, when you when you uh, see my sister at the at the at the front door, she'll have your name on the guest list and you'll be able to come in. I'm going to send you a, that way. You ain't got to worry about trying to meet me nowhere. This, that and the third. Uh, see what side of town I'm on and all about tickets. All right. Let's see. Uh, I think many times we fall in love with potential. Yes. Big mistake. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't make them a bad person. Not just just not right for the person for, for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, you can't fall in love with potential because if somebody. If somebody have the potential then why are you looking at the screen like that like an old man i'm looking at the screen like that because, because i got this bright uh ring light and it is it it bothers me sometimes and but if i cut it off it's gonna be too dark so that's why i'm, I'm looking at the screen like that and then i'm reading right over here to the side it just i don't know it's crazy don't don't talk about me too bad so but yeah, you most definitely can't can't marry potential. A lot of times we marry potential, and then that person never delivers. That potential never comes to fruition, and it's a bad thing when they do that. Bad thing, bad, bad, bad thing. All right. So guys, get your tickets. Like I said, tonight only. Tickets are gonna be ten dollars for single, fifteen dollars for couple. And when I, like I said, when I say couple, if you coming with like, like Isha and Misha, if both of y'all gonna come, then just send me fifteen dollars, okay? So if you coming with your sister, your brother, your homeboy, your homegirl, if you buy, if if, a, if one person is coming with you, then you can you can get a ticket for fifteen dollars, okay? For two people, single, ten dollars, all right. So inbox me. That's my cash out, but I will send you guys my cash out through my through inbox. Just inbox me, and I will um, get the digital ticket to you and add your name to the guest list. Okay, it's on the 18th, seven o'clock. All right, it's gonna be a nice time. Y'all come out. All right, we done for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed this one. This one was uh, to be quite honest, it was kind of a little a little emotional for me because of because of uh what i went through in my life but it was a good one though i really enjoyed it um and i and i'll begin with you guys on the group too um everybody that just not started watching if you just started watching i'm gonna create a facebook group
okay, where it's going to be a private video group, all right, um, where we all get on video on Facebook. It's private. Nobody, it's not posted to anything. It's just everybody that's in that particular group that's talking, all right? Um, and we're going to be able to open up the conversation and kind of have a little bit more dialect that that can't be broadcast on a public platform, okay? Um, so we'll get we'll have some really, really good topics and we'll be able to talk how we really want to talk and say things that we really want to say. Okay. Um, so if you are interested in being on there, um am a part of that group, because it's only gonna be by invite. You're interested in being on there, comment on in right now in the comment section. Say I'm in. All right, and then I will create the group and send you the invite. Okay. I'll create the group and send you the invite. Comment, I'm in. Go ahead and do that now before we get off here. All right. Um, and then also, like I said, again, tonight only, tickets are going to be $10 for single, $20, $15 for um, a couple. That's whether you're coming with your girlfriend, uh, you and your friend, you and your homegirl, your homeboy, y'all coming, y'all coming together, just two people. Then you can get your tickets for $15. That's seven dollars and fifty cents a piece. All right. So um, and you're gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna you you gonna have a cash bar, you're gonna be able to drink. Um, you're gonna have a cash bar, you'll be able to drink, you're gonna have um I'm gonna have some light or hors d'oeuvres there. So um I ain't gonna I ain't trying to fill you up, I'm just trying to hold you up, have a little little finger food there. Um you're gonna be able to enjoy the band. You're going to be able to enjoy the poetry. You're going to be able to enjoy the vendors. You can support the vendors. So it's going to be a real nice night. Okay, Brianna, Kendall. What's up, Kendall? I ain't even see you. Come on, bro. Oh, you just, oh, it just showed that you just started watching. Okay, cool. What's up, bro? You in. All right, cool. I'm going to add you in there, too. Um, Travis, you already know I got you in now. <laughs> if not, we never been friends. <laughs> You already know I got to have your crazy tail done. All right, so um, I guess that's it, guys. Inbox me if you want to get your ticket. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. And I'll be adding you guys to that group. We're going to have that group coming up real soon. I'll probably do it next week. Um, but we'll, we'll actually get on there and do it. But I'll go ahead and get the invite sent out within the next couple of days or so. All right. You guys have a good night.